Hello and welcome back to the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. I'm your host, Chris Doman, a.k.a. the unofficial Harloff, Chris Skywalker. Here with me tonight in the co-hosting chair is the Aussie, Jacob Bolunden, fresh off of his win against Mike Hanley. What a match that was. That was incredible. Jacob, what are we doing here tonight? So, in honor of the Oscars being on Sunday night, uh, we decided... Let's do an Oscar match. Let's get four competitors, do one of our special one-off os- uh, team matches that we do every month. And it's Oscar month. Let's let's do a match dedicated to the Oscars. That sounds uh, pretty awesome. You know what? Yeah, so... And with... I love the Oscars. And... Well, it's, yeah, I was saying, it's, it's the Oscars. Who does not love the Oscars? Full of so many great moments. Um, but, you know, too many to list, in all honesty, but... With that, let's meet our competitors tonight. Up to bat first, we have the poet Zabi Raymond and first-time competitor Henry the Sandman Sanchez as Team Smiley's gentlemen. Or Zabi, welcome back. Henry, welcome onto the show, man. Can't wait. Awesome. And their opponents, we have. Currently two and one as of now, Mr. DVD Mike Hanley and first time competitor Andrew Hayes. Andrew, welcome onto the show, man. How's it feel? Thank you. It feels I'm nervous, extremely, because uh, I know I know my stuff, but who knows? I I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous myself too because uh, pretty pretty quickly here we're gonna be recording uh, myself and Jono. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, Mike. Good luck, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need it. <laughs> but you know what? It should be a great match. I'm wearing my lucky suit. So, hey, what can you do? With that out of the way, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown Oscars Team Match. Introducing first. We have Mr. DVD Mike Hanley and Andrew Hayes as Team Regulators. And their opponents. We have Zabi the Poet Raymond and Henry the Sandman Sanchez as Team Smiles. Let's do this. So... Round one is going to go like this. Each team will receive four questions from four predetermined categories in sets of twos. Each competitor will answer just two questions. Each question is with one point apiece, and there is no stealing in this round. Regulators, because you have a competitor who is higher ranked, you will have the option of going either first or second. What do you think? I'm going to go... Um, I kind of want to just get this done and over it, to be honest, so. All right, I guess I'll, I'll go first. Okay, then I'll go first. And Team Smiley's, I'll please choose my category number one or category two. Doesn't matter to me, man. It's all up to you. <laughs> Let's go category two. Sounds good. All right, regulators, who will go first for the first two questions? I guess I'll go first. Alrighty. Jacob, I will have you read for the regulars, and I'll read for the smileys in this round. Alright. So, Andrew, your first question is, La La Land is nominated for 14 Academy Awards. Other than Titanic, what film equals this many nominations? I want to say it's all about Eve. That is correct. Wow. Nicely done. In your second question, who was the last director to win the Academy Award for Best Director for their feature film debut? <laughs> um, ah, jeez. Um, Five, four, 
Three. I know this isn't it, two, but I'm gonna say uh one. Uh I time. I am the sorry. correct answer was Sam Mendez for oh. American Beauty. Oh. Smile. Wow. It's all good. You know. Here's the thing, guys. You still got that timer on you. Don't think that I don't keep my eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, as I say, take a shot. Take a shot. <laughs> uh, as we come over to the smileys for category two, who would like to go first? Um, I picked the category. You go first. All right. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Zabi, your first question is: Titanic and Lord of the Rings: Return of the King have won eleven Academy Awards. What was the other film, or name one more film to achieve this this feat? I think it's Ben Hur, isn't it? That's a point. <sighs> Nicely done. Tie game. Good job. Of course I knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> I knew yours too, so. <laughs> Your second question. Ben Kingsley won his Oscar for which film? Gandhi. Two points. Nicely done. That's one I knew. <laughs> All right. So, Mike, uh, your question, your first question is the Harry Potter franchise won how many Academy Awards? <laughs> I, I have a feeling this might be a trick Four, question, but... Three, uh, two, two, one. It was a trick uh, question. It did not win. I, none. It did I knew not it. Win. <laughs> For some reason, I thought they won at least one. I nah, it one. never won one. It might on Sunday, though, because Fantastic Beast does count. Ah, Oh. Uh, all right. But let's not get our hopes up. Yeah, oh, that, uh, yeah. That's like, going to the jungle. Not expecting much for that. Beasts. Yeah. Um, okay, and your last question in round one is Frank Capra won his first Best Director Academy Award for which film? It's a Wonderful Life. Ooh. Uh, no, unfortunately, it was for It Happened One yeah. Night. Yeah. Yeah. All right, as we come over to the Sandman. Can't believe he's not playing Metallica in the background like Chris Day or something. <laughs> Keep that classy over here. True, plus you have a personality. All right, your first hey. question. <laughs> what was the first Star Trek film to win an Academy Award? I'm not sure, but I'll say the best one, Wrath of Khan. I'm sorry, I was looking for Star Trek 2009. That was my second guess. That's all right. For your third question, John Ford won his first Academy Award for which film? I can't think of who that is, so that's going to bite me. Uh, I'm not, I don't know. Uh, all right. I was looking for The Informer. Good old classic. Old, old classic. That was a rough one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that one either, buddy. Don't worry about it. It's all good. You picked it up with two points over there, so that helps a lot. <laughs> that's true, that's true. And Smiley's are still in the lead at 2-1 to one as we now go into round two, and it will go as such. Each team will choose a number between 1 through 8, which pertains to a certain movie category. You will be given the category names ahead of time, but not the number they are associated with. And you may pick twice, but you must stick with your second option if the first one is not to your liking. You will then be given four questions worth two points apiece. The multiple choice is available for one point, and there is stealing in this round. Smileys, you are currently in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? It's usually a better idea to go second. What do you think? Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> All right. Okay. Regulators. Categories in this round are scores and soundtracks. Which award did they win? The written word. Best picture. Oscar hosts. Franchises. And miscellaneous Oscar facts. Oops, sorry. And one other. Oscar winning performances. All right. Choose a number between one through eight. Um, 
Do you want to choose the number? Uh, sure. Let's go with a uh, seven. That is a category of Oscar-winning performances. Would you stick with it or go for something else? How confident are you in at that? Oh, Oscar-winning performances. I'm good at the later half, but the earlier half, not so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same here. I'm, I'm good at the later half, but uh, not the earlier half. You want to just but, go with a different number? Uh, the thing is, I'm afraid of getting scores and soundtrack scores. I am too. <laughs> you want to just stick I'm with it? Get, yeah, good. Uh, yeah, let's just stick with it. I think yeah. we, we should stick with it. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, then. I will read you guys your questions for Oscar winning performances, and then Jacob will read for smileys. Gentlemen, here's the thing. You guys can confer, but the other team can hear you. But this goes both ways, so, you know, just a little, yeah. little something to keep in mind. Your first question in the category of Oscar winning performances. What was the last film to be nominated for Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actor, and Best Supporting Actress. I think it might be American also, but I'm not 100% sure. You want to try multiple choice just in case? Uh, yeah, Maybe. I think we should try multiple choice. Yeah, okay. let's do multiple choice. Your options are A, Silver Linings Playbook, B, Dallas Buyers Club, C, American Hustle, D, Lincoln. Uh, yeah, uh, I yeah. think we should go with C. Yeah, let's do it. That was correct. Sometimes some, sometimes your gut can lead you in the right place. Your second question. Al Pacino won his only Academy Award for which film? Scent of a Woman. That is correct for two points. Well done. All right, your third question. Meryl Streep won her first Academy Award for which film? I think we should do multiple choice on this one because I think if I hear the movie, I'll know it. Perfect. Oh, okay. Let's go multiple choice. Your options are A, The Deer Hunter, B, Kramer vs. Kramer, C, Sophie's Choice, or D, Silkwood. I believe it's Sophie's Choice if you want to go with that. Yeah, let's go with it. Smiley's for the steal. <sighs> the Deer Hunter, right? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. You want to go Deer Hunter? Right. Let's do it. Yeah, Deer Hunter. Wow. Nobody got it. It was, in yes. fact... Kramer so versus good. Kramer. Really? <laughs> oh, really? Like Sophie's <laughs> choice was her second one. Like the oh, I got, oh, I knew. Oh. That question oh. was such a Sophie's choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. For some reason, I could have sworn. Kramer I think you're overestimating the importance one. of that question. Sophie's choice is a bit more severe. <laughs> oh, well, mm, well, we'll see. For your final question, regulars under the category of Oscar-winning performances. Daniel Day-Lewis has won how many Academy Awards? Uh, three. Two I, points. I want to go with oh. right. yeah, That was an easy two-pointer. Dang it. Good job. Okay. Uh. Smileys. The remaining categories in this round are the written word, franchises, Oscar hosts, what award did they win, scores and soundtracks, Best Picture, and Miscellaneous Oscar Facts. Please choose a number between 1 through 8, and 7 is off the table. You seem more decisive, so I'm going to let you pick the number. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go 4. That is a category of Best Picture. Would you like, it or would you like to stick with that or go for something else? You want to stick with that and not get host or any of that other stuff? <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I think it's safer to stay. Yeah. yeah, let's go Best Picture. Okay. Your first question, what was the first film to win Best Picture? Oh, I know that one. Go ahead, it's Wayne, right? Wow! That is correct for two points. <laughs> Billy Crystal <laughs> won the 69th Academy Awards, the year of the independent film. Which film ended up winning Best Picture that year? Uh, the, the 69th, you said? The 69th Academy year's? Awards. Not the, six, not the 1969 Academy Awards. This is the 88. Oh, you're talking about like 1969? Nope, nope, no, not the that. the 69th okay. Academy Awards. Oh, we should, go, should we go multiple choice? Are you, how sure are you? If it's that year, that that's it, so... Okay, did I do the math right? <laughs> Alright, let's just do it. You want to do it? Alright, yeah, okay. 
Shakespeare in Love. That's incorrect. Oh. Regulators, chance Regulators to steal. For the steal. I, I'm going to go ahead and say Forrest Gump. You guys were both off because we were looking for the 1997 Academy oh. Awards <laughs> and the English Patient was the winner. For some reason, winner. I thought that was 94. And... All right, question year, three. Uh... What was the last film to be the highest grossing film of the year and win Best Picture? You just want to do multiple choice? Yeah, all right, let's go multiple choice. All right. Okay, multiple choice. A, Avatar. B, Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. C, Titanic. Or D, Forrest Gump. You want to go with that? Yeah, all right. Five. Yeah, all right. Return of the King. Return of the King. That's a point. That is That's correct. one point. Good teamwork. I like that. <laughs> Before the artist, what was the last viewer black and white film to win Best Picture? Chandler's list. Do you want to go with that? Um, that was '93. Yeah, well, the '94 ceremony. It came out in '93, so I don't. Nothing else comes to mind since then that would have been black and white. That's what I think. So you want to go with Chandler's yep. list? Two points. Right, yeah, yeah. Chandler's list. Then. Regulators He's for incorrect. the steal. What? Five, yeah, yeah, five, four, I have no four, idea. Three, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have no okay. idea. Two, okay. One. The correct answer was The Apartment in 1960. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes. Unfortunately, Schindler's List does not count because it yeah. has red in it. I, I wouldn't have got that if you gave me 100 guesses. You. Honestly, <laughs> even, even if like they didn't say Schindler's List, I would probably have thought of Schindler's List. <laughs> and it also has the ending where there is a they, where they li- leave a the um yeah 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 or the beach uh, yeah. The grave uh, all right, all right. Okay. Sure. okay as we come into round three with the score regulators six smileys at five here's how round Damn. three will work each competitor each each team will be given the year genre and three plot keywords of a given film if you know the answer from that information alone, you'll receive five points. However, if you need two more keywords, the total possible goes down to three points. And if one last keyword is needed, the total possible is one point, and there is no stealing in this round. Regulators, you are in the lead, so please choose either movie number one or movie number two. What do you? What number do you want to go with? Um, I was always going with number one, then that screwed me last time because I made the mistake. So I don't know. You want to try no, movie number two? Uh, sure. Yeah, let's, let's go with movie number, two. number two. Okay. Jacob, I will have you read to the smileys for movie number one because they are behind. Okay. Just would like to reiterate, both of these films have been nominated for a Academy Award. That is the only th- um, thing that... <laughs> That's going to be passengers, them. isn't it? The year oh, is 2009. The genre is action, adventure, <laughs> sci-fi. The keywords are alien, machine, and college. Do you want to go the movie that you thought earlier, the grossing one? The which one? The highest grossing movie you said earlier? 2000. He said college, though. It wasn't That was one of the words, right? Yeah, yes. but I mean, like, fish can be in a college, so I mean, maybe. I don't know, dude. I, I don't think it's Avatar. I don't think it's Avatar. You think it's a trick? It might be, um. It might be District 9. Ooh. Was that nominated for anything? That was, I, that was definitely nominated for something, but I'm not sure if it was the right year. Two more, two keywords. more keywords. Yeah. Okay, your next two keywords are. Regeneration and military. Yeah, do you want right, to go okay, with let's, your gut? Let, let, let's try it. Yeah, d- District 9. Ooh. District 9? That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> we were looking for we looking... one of the most hated movie sequels of all time, Transformers. Transformers <laughs> Which was, the ball. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Which Wait, was nominated was for, for Best Sound Mixing. If regulators hits the five on this one, 
they actually win by a TKO because oh. Smiley's missed their film. No pressure here. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. As I say, yeah, Mike, you've kind of been on the butt end of this before. I know. <laughs> okay. Oh, Regulators for a possible win. Your year is 2011. Your genre, adventure, drama, and mystery. Your plot keywords are key, disaster, and mute. Are you thinking of, uh, do you think anything? Or do you want to uh, go for no. another keyword? All right. I'm thinking we got to go with another keyword on that okay. one. Yeah. Okay. Phone cool. and strangers are your next two keywords. All right, let's go with the last keyword. Okay. 9-11, like 9-11 the date, is your last keyword. Came out in 2000. Oh, wait, 2011? Yes. Oh. Yes, the movie came out in 2011. God, it's a twitter so over my thing. <laughs> and there's no stealing again? 9-11. No, there's no stealing. 2011 Five, between two of them. Four, you want three, me to go for it? You know, have yeah, idea? just go for it. Uh, World Trade four. Center. I'm sorry. I was looking for extremely loud and incredibly oh, close. Yeah, World Trade Center came out in 2006. Yep. Now we're going to go into round four. And it's going to go like this. I have a total of ten questions here. Each team will be asked five questions. You will be given ten seconds to... Oh, sorry, fifteen seconds to answer. And you are allowed to collaborate. But, you know, keep it... And, don't worry, guys. No stealing allowed in this round. And here's the thing. If if there's a tie at the end of this round, we do have a sudden death tiebreaker. Smileys, you will get to go first because you're behind. Your first question. What film won Best Picture at the 58th Academy Awards honoring the best in film in 1985? Uh, okay, I think I know this one. Is it, um, uh, Amadeus? Ooh, sorry, I was looking for Out of Africa. Amadeus is in the floor, I think. Dang it. Okay, Jacob. Okay. Regulators. What film won Best Picture at the 60th Academy Awards, honoring the best in film in 1987? Do you have any idea? Five, four, three, yeah. two, no. one. Armadeus. <laughs> uh, uh, Is it the end four? Armadeus, Armadeus, Armadeus. Emperor. Yes. What was it? The Last Emperor. The last. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Smiley. Who won Best Actor at the 7th Academy Awards, honoring the Best in Film in 1934? <laughs> Just got to take a uh, wild guess. Did, 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 any any silent, did any silent actors win back then? It was I still think, silent in 34? Five, I think no, four, three. Uh, do you want to see Charlie Chaplin? He said okay, it. I, I was so yeah, he said it. So, yep, that's correct. Okay. One point. I'm sorry, the first answer, answer we heard was Park Abel and that. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I was just asking. I wasn't. I was thinking confirmed. either him or Frank Sinatra. Regulators. Who won Best Actor at the 13th Academy Awards, honoring the best in film in 1940? Five, four, I have no idea. No, I have no idea. One. The answer was James Stewart. No, I was wrong. Okay. Smiley. Who won Best Actress at the 62nd Academy Awards, honoring the best in film in 1989? Five, four, three, two, one. I'm sorry, I was looking for Jessica Tandy. So, Regulators. Who won Best Actress at the 61st Academy Awards, honoring the Best in Film in 1988? Marissa Tomei. 
Ooh, no, sorry. unfortunately, that was best supporting actress that year. Ah. Ah. And the the winner that year, the answer is JTE's favorite film, The Accused, for Jodie Foster. You know what? I was thinking that. You had it. You were you thinking Jodie Foster. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I was Smiley's. <laughs> What film won Best Animated Feature at the 75th Academy Awards, honoring the best in film in 2002? M- Monsters, Inc. I'm sorry, I was looking for the Hayao Miyazaki classic, Spirited Away. <laughs> okay, regulators. What film won Best Animated Feature at the 78th Academy Awards, honoring the best in film in 2005? I think it might be The Incredibles. Let's go for it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say the incredible. I'm sorry. We were looking for Wallace and Gromit. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Smiley's. <No> pressure. <laughs> Who won Best Director at the 50th Academy Awards, honoring the best in film of 1977? I have no other idea. Uh, so. right, let's go with it. Francis Ford Coppola. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I was looking for Woody <laughs> Allen for Annie Hall. Annie Hall. Oh. Uh, I hate my life. Okay, and if regulators oh. hits, they win. <laughs> but if they miss, no pressure. Tiebreaker. Who won Best Director at the 53rd Academy Awards, honoring the best in film in 1980? Yeah. Five. Yeah. Go for it. Four. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola. I'm sorry, no, we are what? looking for Robert Redford with of Ordinary People. Oh, oh why didn't I know that? Oh, oh, that so we're close. down to a tiebreaker. So we're coming we're down to the sudden here. death tiebreaker. <laughs> here is how this is going to work. Jacob will ask the question. You guys will use your name as a buzzer. I will then determine who actually buzzed in first. And if you guess your film correctly, you get a point and you win the game. If you guess incorrectly, you lose a point and the opposing team wins. Everyone ready? Oh. Yep. Okay. George Clooney won an Academy Award for producing which best picture winning film? Zabi. Okay. Argo. Your winner, Team Smiley! Yes! <laughs> wow. Oh, well done. What Nicely was the answer? I actually didn't hear it. Argo. 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 Uh, my, my favorite movie. Don't believe me? Just ask Chris Day. <laughs> but yes, uh, Smiley's congratulations. Uh, regulators, I want to get your opinion. How are you guys feeling right now about the match? I feel like uh, I could have done a lot better. Uh, yep, me too. Idea. Yeah, there was definitely that Jody Foster one's gonna haunt. Well, I was gonna say, well, now you can now you can tweet at JTE and say you know his pain. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. and Smiley's guys, congratulations, uh, to be. I'm sure Thank it you. feels great to win again, and Henry. Yeah. How does it feel having a win under your belt now? Hey, I think Zabi probably answered more questions in that one, but hey, I think it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I can't wait for a singles match. First match is always tough, though. You did well. Yeah, I was, I was a little nervous, especially with Oscars, man. Uh, we were one I, year I off for a bunch of them. I played yeah. Meryl Streep for my loss. <laughs> that was like um, my last match against Jacob. We had these uh, two questions where you had to guess the year of a movie, and the first one was Mary Poppins. I said it was like 63, it was 64. And then I had Aladdin, and I said it was 93, and it was 92. So you're so good at years. Yeah, Movie not, dates not. is your forte. All right, Jacob, any final thoughts before we wrap up? That was insane. <laughs> <laughs> um, you Round guys did four really was well, rough. considering. <laughs> um, like, I, I wrote those questions to be tough because... I wrote them like as, all right, it would something that would t- test my mind, and the, the fact that you guys got a lot of them correct is impressive. So I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed. But obviously, you know, once, once again, Andrew, uh, Henry, welcome. Glad to finally give you guys a match. Can't wait to see what you guys can do in singles. For 
the Aussie, Jacob Lundin. I am the unofficial Harloff, Chris Skywalker, and we will see you at the next match. Take care.